Hello guys, welcome to the side of the road in Penang. <laughs> uh, we are, yes, on the side of the road right now, walking through Georgetown, but we're going towards the bus stop and we're going to Taluk Bahang, which is like a kind of a, I guess a sea or a, a town. Oh, where was I? Taluk Bahang, I think. So we're catching actually that bus there, the 101, but we need to stop for water first get some change, make sure you have the right change for the bus or have that rapid Penang card, which we don't have. Um, yeah, so make sure you've got the correct change. They don't give you change, you just give them loads of money and they run away with it. Well, they take you where you want to go. Right now we're crossing the road and not getting run over, yay! Yay crossings, yay! Okay, so water, bus, water bus. Water bus, and then where again? Teluk Bahang, see this bus here. Teluk Bahang is where we're going. Bye. So we're on the bus. Going to? Uh, Teluk Bahang. Teluk Bahang. Uh, that cost 680 for two, so that's 340 each. Okay, okay. Not too bad for one hour bus. Really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One hour ish. Uh, Obviously, we went to Patikurangi for like maybe a week ago now. Yeah. Um, and that was. That was uh, like two fifty each. Like maybe two eighty each, I think. Yeah. You know, but this is kind of next two beaches over, right? Uh, two more beaches over, or one more beach over. One more beach. Yeah. So it's and it's the last stop as well, basically. So yeah, that's where we're heading. Uh, Going to be going through Penang City and then around corner and through the things and then past the beaches and then eventually get to to uh, like the entrance of national park uh Teluk Bahang Jetty Teluk Bahang Jetty okay let's do it Just going through Batu Ferengi, which actually we did come to before. Uh, we're just going through it now. It's like one of the, well, a really nice beach actually on Penang. I think the best beach on Penang from what I've heard. Uh, cool, really nice. It's like two kilometers long, sandy. The, the, the sea wasn't too great when we were there. Um, and yeah, I mean, the weather is not too great today, but I guess if the sun's out, it'll be really good. Uh, maybe I'll link it above, actually. Um, here. Uh, here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're continuing on to like the next, and then the next beach, I think. The two beaches past. Hard Rock, Hard Rock Cafe here, even. So this is quite a popular place with uh, tourists. Although, yeah, when we were here before, it seemed quite quiet actually. So you kind of get, not quite the beach to yourself, but uh, uh, it is really quiet. So yeah, if you're looking for a quiet beach, it's got all the things. It's got like jet ski and parasailing and sand, water. Maybe it's for you. We had thought of actually staying here for a bit. But because the weather's been how it is and like, you know, a bit grey, we thought there's loads more to do in like Georgetown. So we just stayed there. Cool, well, we'll continue, continue, continue. We're almost there, guys. We're kind of, yeah, about two thirds of the way, I guess. And it's nice, like we kind of, you know, everything's getting a lot greener. It's forest. Stuff. Forest up there, kind of going more towards like the national park. So yeah, it's just getting greener and greener as we go. Okay, next stop is, what's it called again? Gosh, keep forgetting. Taluk Bahang. Taluk Bahang. It is up there actually. Taluk Bahang. Yeah. Off the bus. This is what's this called? Teluk Bahang. Teluk Bahang. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. That. That's it. There. 
Yeah, so it's raining. Quite a bit. Uh, we got pretty wet yesterday. I am on my second pair of shoes because the other one are drying. So, you know, not too keen on getting these shoes wet as well because then I have zero shoes. But um, after a very, very, very cold fridge bus ride, we've decided to stop for a warm tea anyway. Very nice. Very nice. I think it was only 170 or will be 170. We're kind of deciding what to do. I think we're going to have some food here, maybe, if they do have food. I'm not sure. We did ask for something and they said they didn't have it yet. So we're going to like recalibrate and then try and work out what we're doing. Because obviously walking in this. But yeah, walking in this, you know, it's not uh, ideal. We already got soaked last night. So I thought and there's a batik um, museum and there's a free tour of batik and they show you how they paint on the fabric. Uh, so they will show you all the process. So if it's open, I, I would suggest we go there for a tour. And then when it's finished, we can go to the jetties and then we can go a little bit up. I think it will be quite difficult to go to the park because to go to um, what's the name the lighthouse it's like one hour and I feel like there's another rain coming after so we don't have enough time probably but we can just have a look I guess yeah because there is like a break in the rain in about an hour we could like try go somewhere then oh, things happening um, yeah we're not sure we'll see what the weather does see how this tea feels after having it see if we can get food here I mean you know, I'm happy just looking at the rain for a little bit have some food yeah let's see what happens okay so I just put some nice food here in this local place very good I'll just say like wow the spices like this is beef they also have chicken and they also have fish and they have anchovy so um it's like curry, like really well spiced curry, um, delicious. And then rice, and then they have a lot of salad. Hey, <laughs> so it's kind of a sour papaya salad, I guess. And this is like um, like just a green kind of thing. Um, so yeah, very full of flavor. And it costed me eight ringgit for all of the plate. So, really come here, really come here. Wow, only eight rinket. Uh, this is called Be Limbing, Be Limbing Cafe, I think. It's right where the bus ends and stops and drops you. I'm gonna try and maybe get some of these, but I'm not sure if they're gonna let me. But I'm definitely gonna probably have some of that as well. Let's see what we can do. They got my food as well. Look at all this. We got the same vegetables as Asha. Got a piece of chicken again egg rice and like they add like a bit of gravy or sauce as well and i think i got the the beef one i also went with the coffee look how dark that is and then i think it's got like condensed milk condensed milk down the bottom amazing uh that's eight rinket as well i don't know how much the coffee is going to be but probably around 150 or two something like this uh maybe i'll just quickly show you all the other stuff they've got over there as well um yeah check it all out guys look at this we got like beef here, I think chicken, fish, fish, all these things here. And then obviously the rice is going to be here as well. So anyway, it's amazing stuff. Wow, ah, this is the vegetables as well. Wow. And yeah, it's just this place. Here, Lim Cafe. Very cool. So I'm just going to try some of this. This is like the curry sauce, it's really good. Mmm. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This, you can see some chilies in there. Oh, I see Ash has pulled them out of hers. Yeah. The green ones are quite spicy. It's really good. It's like um, bean sprouts and some green stuff. It's kind of got like a smoky flavor to it. And then there's the egg and the chicken. Um, I'm going to have to have two hands for so I'm afraid I can't show you. But yeah, the... Um, The curry is really good. Yours might be different, but awesome. 
Oh, really good guy. You want to try my sauce? Um, no. no. I'm really happy. Yeah, very good. It's better than in Georgetown. Better than in Georgetown. You heard it here first, guys. This is the place to come. Ashes number one. Uh, we finished there. Mine was 11. That was for two drinks, so tea, coffee, and my food. 11. Wow. That means each drink was 150. How crazy is that price? Um, Ashes was eight, I think 10, uh, 950 or nine, something like this. Um, right now we're gonna go, well, we were gonna go down there, which is kind of like the wharf and the beach and stuff, but it started raining again. Yay! I don't actually want to have the camera out for too long, but we're gonna try and go into this craft buttock place. So buttock is like a, a design hand painted design thing that we actually saw first in Indonesia in Java um, but yeah it then becomes quite often clothing or like um, I guess wall decoration or painting you know painting in itself but we're gonna go in there because it's indoors <laughs> and there's no rain indoors right there's no rain indoors okay that's what we're doing right now it's raining and actually there's rain on the camera thanks bye so this is the shop itself as you can see there's like all this fabric here with designs and these are all hand painted as far as i know maybe with stencils they must be with stencils maybe yeah, you can see like you know kind of quite floral uh quite organic quite kind of repetitive kind of structural things and um, here's like a cement shirt a bit more hawaiian styles swirliness um yeah, dresses other things this is even tie-dye here uh, aprons looks like yeah mm, i guess sarong cool cool i think actually they can take us into the factory as well so we can have a look see how it's all made that would be great uh, so there's no video near camera which is a shame but i understand guys they're just taking us into the factory now um let's see let's see what's gonna happen They just showed us over here. So there's this guy here doing his patterns. He dips his um, uh, like a stamp into the wax there, and then puts it onto the material, and then they paint over the top. So it actually starts with wax. And here you can as well see um, there's like wax designs. So they actually paint on perhaps with wax as well, and then they paint over with color, and then the wax actually repels the color. So then that leaves the design in. You can see here, uh, you can see these are all like the wax stamps that he uses. So he's got a few that he's dealing with there. And then he goes and puts it over here. I guess someone then paints over the top. And then here you can see this and uh, he's doing this by hand. He's doing them by hand here. You can see there's like a wax print here and then they paint over by hand. Pretty amazing. So just here you can see that here is like the design that we've stamped on and then they've painted it through the blue. So then yeah, here you can see um, they've got the design here which they've stamped on with wax. And then they've got the blue, and you can see that the blue is actually repelled there. So this is like a wax design. And this is the blue that's then painted over the top. Very cool. And yeah, it's a big factory here. And then yeah, again here, I guess. Rayon. Rayon material. Rayon, and steel. So yeah, here you, again you can see, so the outlines have been done with wax. So the outlines here are wax, and then they're painted with hands inside. They're dead, they're dead. Kind of like watercolors in a way. Um, and like this, and some, somewhere, somehow, 
they then melt the wax off I guess you know, and here you can see like you know, kind of here and this could kind of paint kind of another color and here they've got the shading really cool didn't realize it was a wax process very similar to um, like zinc zinc etching if you zinc plate etching or printing um, yeah which I've done in the past I used to be a printer in not the last life but the life before I think I used to uh, do designs of uh, for t-shirts and fabrics and stuff as well so it's a kind of familiar familiar ish to me I'm um, cool. um, gonna catch up with the people once again So just here, uh, you can see this guy, uh, he's using like a wax pen, so one of these, and he like puts melted wax inside it, which is melting here in this big uh, tub, and then he actually hand draws on, you see, uh, like a pen, he's melting or drawing on melted wax. And then it kind of comes over, like this is kind of a very almost finished process, uh, very close to ending. Uh, and then they fix it um, so fixing well that's I guess a photography call, uh, photography um, term but you fix it with like a chemical so it sets sets in the fabric and then they actually wash the fabrics in like boiling water to get rid of the wax so then it leaves very cool very cool process didn't realize it was the wax I wondered how it kind of was made didn't realize it was so uh, hand, still hand made these days in particular. That's very much hand painted, hand painted. Very clever. And you can see here all the colors here. Uh, also over here, um, there's like a DIY, so you can actually make your own, uh, make your own fabrics if you like. Here, this is a really cool design. Very repetitive, it's almost like a wallpaper. No, which I guess maybe they make dresses or sarongs out of. That's yeah, a repeating pattern. Or maybe it is for, for walls. I don't know. Very cool though. Very cool. Cool. And then, yeah, it comes all the way. Wow. And I think over there it must be like the chemical bars that they, they put them in. So that here you can see some. Here you can see there's like chemical baths here. So I guess they put the things in. Or maybe that's actually dyeing as well. So that might be a, a process of dyeing like a whole section. Very cool. Okay, that's, that's Batik. Now you know guys, now you know how it works. Go get yourself some. Uh, we're going to go back into the store, have a look at it. Um, see see what's, what's around. Although it does say, yeah, no filming, but we'll see. Okay, so we'll just come back in the shop. Um, yeah, I kind of showed you before, but maybe we can have another look around. Those are those shirts again. Get some fish. Fish up here. Um, dresses. Skirts. Skirts are pretty good. Trousers. This is all the women's section here, obviously. Those are quite cool. Lots of media. Uh, yes. Cool. Yeah, I mean, over that way it does say don't film, so I'm not going to go over there. But you get the general idea, you know, of how these, you know, you can see. So here, for example, is the finished version there. So this white, this white here would be the wax that they, that kind of repels the color. And then they come back later and wash it, like I said, in boiling water. And the wax comes off because obviously you don't want wax on your clothing do you but yeah very cool and here's like you know there's different techniques of different layering colors to get different effects so even like with this I, mean, I don't know i guess maybe they could even do different layers of wax as they set and redo colors i don't know if they do that but it is possible i've done some you know things similar particularly with like printed t-shirts where you do a color with an ink called plastisol which never sets it never sets unless you bake it so you then bake it i can't remember at some degrees it's been a long time 
but it goes off, you sit it, it goes off, and then you can put the next layer on top. Maybe they have a process like that here as well. I don't know. But yeah, cool. So I can't remember what this is called. Now let me just... Actually, maybe as we're going out, I'll uh, let you know what it's called. But that was Craft Buttock. There you go, you see it here. Uh, so that was the showroom in the front, and then out the back was like the warehouse production side of things. Cool, so that's it. Uh, for there, we're gonna go maybe that way. Gonna head towards the jetties, the wharf, like the sea. Um, whew, the strong smell of um, anchovy fish paste <laughs> around in the whole town. Uh, really cool musk here. Big musk, we heard it earlier actually, as we were having lunch. But yeah, we're going to head down to the jetty and see what we can find yeah, down there. It's still, even if it's raining, it's nice because it's so green around. It's so green around and it's uh, like quieter than in Georgetown, so I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it is, it's pretty chill, you know, there's not many people around. Oh yeah, I'm going to put you away, guys. I'm going to put, hide you underneath here for a little bit. We're going to go in the rain. Let's go! If I find anything, I'll show you. I come out to the edge. Well, we might go round over to there, onto this uh, jetty or walk here. But this wolf here you can actually see so this wolf here you can actually see from uh Batu Ferengi. You see it sort of sticking out if you're in the water. The Batu Ferengi is over there. You can see this across to the wolf here. Uh, maybe I'll link that video above. Batu Ferengi might have already linked it, but hey I'll link it again. Again. Okay. Um yeah, you can see this place here is seen better days there. It's all kind of worn down here. Looks like the tides come in here and like sort of washing it away from underneath. But could be actually not that safe so maybe I should go somewhere else but hey let's uh, keep moving anyway hey eh? but yeah you can see like little fishing boats fishing boats fishing boats uh, that there is more like a tourist boat that we've seen like around at uh, Batu Ferengi where you can get uh, trips out around the next uh, bay around I think is Monkey Bay where there are a lot of monkeys oh right here we've got a lot of cats there Yeah, down there. Uh, and then the next one around after Monkey Bay is Turtle Bay, I think. So yeah, and you can, this here, I think from here, all this green, you can see here, 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 and here. This is kind of, this big, that's kind of the beginnings of the National Park here. Uh, where you can walk uh, for about an hour and a half to the end to the lighthouse, which is at the point, I believe. Can't see it from here, but it's over a couple of the mountains. You'll have to believe me. Um, yeah, we were going to do that, but there is a lot of rain. Not sure if we're still going to attempt that or not. I will confer and get back to you. Fishermen's on the boats. Yeah. You can see right here. And here there's like a kind of a storage or warehouse area with all nets and fishing uh, gear, I guess. Um, and then you can see kind of some of the fishing nets there on some of these boats. Yeah. Quite calm and peaceful. Calm and peaceful. <laughs> So we're just kind of come out to the end here. Uh, here you can see like 
you know these kind of trawlers I think they're called, they're like, they put the nets out and you just run them uh, behind the boats probably go out overnight or like even over multiple nights or even yeah they could be out for quite a while I guess maybe they, they sleep on the boats and kind of stay out there here you can see a boat here no, at least at least this one at least this one um, yeah, needs a lot of repair work you can just see like you can almost for me I can almost envision the action and the thing that's just happening you know so much it's happened on the boat you just tell just by the wear and tear on it you know you could almost imagine people fishing off it and you know just it being out at sea and yeah you know, I don't know storms and sun and waves fish so literally picture like all people like running around on it with uh, with nets and stuff huh. very cool very unexpected I yeah. wasn't expecting this strange they're all blue as well blue and red maybe that's uh I don't know what does that mean There'll be a reason why they're all painted blue and red. I'm not sure why. I'll just take you down to the end here and we'll have a look, another little look around. Look at how big these nets are with boys. Pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're out just at the end now. Down there. Some boats here coming in, I guess they're coming in. Uh, they might be tourists, you know, or maybe travelers coming in from somewhere. And then over here, this, uh, we can see in the distance, the, um, the buildings there, or like the apartments, that's kind of Afi Ferengi, it's just around there. And that's where we were, we could see this way, and actually see. Um, you can see this whole pier actually with the blue um, there's, there's a blue roof um, over there and then you can go around there and that's like kind of Penang like old town or Georgetown if you like but yeah there's some look at this I mean it must be such look at all these I mean it's amazing like it's uh, it's got like an essence of just really hard work for me anyway you know like just how how Kind of degraded and worn down it all is yeah it's pretty amazing wow there's a massive sea eagle or something that's up there in the air not sure if you can see that um i guess this is someone's hammock maybe mm -hmm. maybe they have a little nap here i could see like a couple of beds and stuff and, and some of them a few people like sleeping in them actually so yeah it's definitely you know it's not a not an easy job but it must be quite a hard hard life you know mm. Wow, pretty amazing. Very peaceful, you know. I mean, that's also, I guess, what it is. Yeah, you can tell that there was hard work and, like, ugh, you know, just effort has been put into something. But right now, there's just peace. There's just rain, a bit of splash of the ray of the waves, and just the boats just, you know, swaying in the uh, in the water. Uh, we're going to head back down there. That was really nice. Um, I'm not sure where we're going next. I should did just say, hey, let's go. Look, the rain stopped. But now the rain has started again. So then there's like one bay here, there's another bay, and then there's another bay, which is Monkey Bay. Which we may go to, but yeah, the rain just keeps coming. I think we are going to kind of head at least a little bit into the forest. Because that was kind of the main point of coming. Um, yeah, and check it out. Let's see, let's see, uh, yeah, we're going to at least go into the forest, even if it's like 500 meters. We're not like, you know, my shoes are already wet from just walking on the, uh, the, on the road. So yeah, we'll see, see how far we get. All right, guys. The rain is back. Uh, we're just down here. Um, we've just been told like it's it's um, 50 ringgit to enter 
the park, I guess no matter how far you go, just to enter is like 50, 50 ringgit. Uh, or, or you can do the boat, like get a boat ride out there for 50 ringgit each, or maybe it's a hundred for both. Um, and you don't need to pay the park fee. You just get dropped off there at the beach. You stay on the beach and then you call your captain um, and he comes back and gets you or he hangs around until you're ready to go. Um, so yeah, I mean, they both basically cost 50. Um, I guess from Monkey Beach, you're just not allowed to leave. You're not allowed to like walk through the park, I believe. That's kind of the, the deal. Or you walk from here through the park and it's 50 as well. 50, so that's like about 10 pounds. Um, for us, we were thinking of just walking maybe a little bit into there, maybe even to the first beach, like 500 meters or something. So in that respect, maybe it's not worth 50 for us. But maybe, well, basically the boat to Monkey Beach is more... Uh, worthwhile but obviously with the weather like it is we're a bit unsure as to how safe the boat would be if there's a storm that suddenly comes through we had a massive storm that came through last night completely washed us out while we were walking around imagine being on a boat with it like bucketing down as well yeah we're undecided undecided peoples but it's still really cool here it's really still, still really cool and nice yeah it is to enter you sign up here um, or I guess with these ladies over here uh, and you get you have to pay 50 as a, an entrance fee to the park so that's <laughs> the entrance right there but the time is right now about 4.35 and on the, on the uh, board it said closed at 5 o'clock so in 25 minutes but we asked the guy and he said no it closed at 4.30 so it actually it's already closed anyway um, so yeah I mean that 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 gives us a that tells us that yeah makes our decision for us yeah cool so well, definitely uh, come here not on a rainy day and I guess it's as early as you can because like they close at 4 30 so you have to be out so if you're in there you have to come out before 4 30 I guess or is it just like 4 30 at last, last entrance I'm not sure uh, no, I think it is 4.30 back out because I don't want people st stuck there at night. Yeah, because they were saying that there's a ranger there and like 4.30 I would say it's like just, I mean the the sunset is at 7.30 so they still have like three hours to come back. I don't know, I don't know, so, I don't know. Yeah. I, don't know. Yeah, I guess the ranger has to go around and actually find all the people that are lost in there and stuff as well. And then he's got to go home. Um, okay, so that kind of tells, that gives us the thing. I think we're going to go back to Batu Ferengi. Uh, maybe have a coffee there and just chill for a bit. Uh, yeah. Oh well, we almost got there. Almost got there. Really nice. Look at this, this entrance, the, the trees. And it really reminds me of like some forests in New Zealand. You know? A lot of this actually around here. Like even the drive here on the bus reminded me of some parts in, in New Zealand with all the green. Uh, it's a shame. But oh well. I mean, my feet are soaking quiet anyway, like walking in there or anything like this. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so I think we're going to go back to Batu Ferengi. Hang on. I just got more news. So for your own safety, you have to come back before it's dark. So we could have gone uh, when we arrived at 4.30 and then we would have had to come out of the forest uh, like around 7. Mm. So we could have done it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, we could have done it. But I mean, feet are wet. It's raining. I don't think we have the quite the right shoes. Running around in the mud. Okay. So Butter Frangi. I think Butter Frangi. I think. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna catch a bus. I think. It feels like it's just about to start raining again. Yeah. Okay guys, bye. We got on the bus, we're going to Batu Ferengi. 
from here, but a Ferengi, 140 each, so there's 240 for, no, 280 for two. Uh, on the bus, Batu Ferengi, Batu Ferengi, here we go, go, go. Ash is working all out, she doesn't know. Okay, bye. Guys, we're on a roller coaster now. Look out! Okay guys, we've just uh, come to our favorite coffee area. Well, it's, uh, it's a really nice restaurant, but they've got real coffee here. Uh, last time we were here, when we came to Baru Ferengi, like I've said before, many a time, I think. So yeah, we're just here, gonna have a coffee. It's really good. Uh, and the place is really cool as well. It's called Ferengi Garden. Um, yeah, cool. We've got upstairs and around and around, loads of cool stuff. Really cool. I've shown it to you before, so maybe I'll just, uh, yeah, try and link that video again, again, again. Okay. So the coffees have come, look at them, look at them. Ah, oh, Asha messed hers up, but that's all right. It had a little heart on it. That oh. It did have a heart on it. <laughs> just like a heart now. But yeah, really good coffee here, really, really good. And it comes with a biscotti as well. Coffee and biscotti, you can't go wrong. Can't remember how much it costs. Actually, mine's not. Twelve. Like. Well, mine's not on the the menu. They don't actually have flat white on the menu, but they make it for me anyway. Mine is twelve. Twelve eighty. But then there is another six percent and another ten percent on top. No. Yep. And look, here's a waterfall. Okay, bye. Ferengi Garden. Coffee, coffee, coffee is really, really good. Oh, they just turned the lights on for us as well. Uh, we're going to head down to the beach just here, uh, Ferengi, and go back probably to the place that we had food at before. Uh, it was really good. It was really cheap and it had a view of the beach. Kind of stopped raining, although it's uh, I can't actually see a drop of rain on the lens there, so hmm, okay. Seems to be kind of, yeah, wanting to come back a bit. But we're, um, yeah, going to get under there, down there, somewhere, food, etc. Cool. Join us. Yes. As it's raining, it's raining. But check out the view here. Look, we've got some horses. We're going on some horsey rides. We're going on some boat rides. We're going on a parasailing ride. We're going on a jet ski ride. And can you see? I don't know if you can see it. Right there, there's like a blue thing that comes out there. So that's where we were. That's the jetty where all the fishermen, fishing boats were. Uh, and then out there somewhere are other places. This is basically from there that way uh, is then the National Park, which we haven't been to. Uh, it's raining, so that'll do me. I've just ooh, ordered food. Gosh, he looks like he wants some food as well. Didn't order for him, un unfortunately. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's not many people down here. You see how peaceful it is. It is actually generally like this throughout the day until the sun starts setting and that's when everybody seems to come down seems to come down to the beach but it's raining today so maybe that's not going to happen very cloudy it's raining i'm going to go back under there so i've ordered mine came i should still saw hers out um here's mine i ordered three favorites chicken whatever that is Spicy. Very, spicy. very good though. It's very sweet, spicy. Lots of chilies. I guess the three is like three different spice. I'm not sure. But it's really good. Maybe it's like basil. Something, something. It's like a sweet, very, very, very spicy. That's good. Um, cool. I think it's, and it's really cheap here. Like that's like four. I think, and the rice is maybe one. <laughs> Crazy, so that'll be 15 altogether for mine. So, like around three pounds. That's good, that's good. A lot going on here, got people everywhere. Ash is talking. I'm gonna go. Bye, and enjoy my meal. Bye.
Hello everyone. Hello everyone. How are we doing? Uh, we finished the year. Uh, in total it was 22? No, 30? No, 32. 30, 32. 32 ringgit in total. That's for some food and some stuff and some drinks and blah 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 blah. But now we are walking along the nice beach, Batu Ferengi, where the horses are. You can see this over here, maybe. Over here. Yes, this is mainland Malaysia over here. This is Monkey Bay, Monkey Beach. This is where we were just before. Uh, Taluk, Taluk Bahang. Taluk Bahang, Taluk Bahang is called. That's where we went. That was the journey today, which was Taluk Bahang. Obviously, we are ending here now on Batu Ferengi. This is all in Penang, Penang, Penang. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe for more Penang, for more Malaysia, for more Asia, for more of us, for more of the world, for more of everything that you could ever want. <laughs> um, and come and see this place for yourself. Yeah, yeah, come, come along. Come join us. Uh, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Until then. Keep, Keep on, on drifting. drifting. Bye, guys.